Break apart to subtract, lesson 4.5. We can break apart a number to subtract. Here we have a word problem. Tim had 12 crayons. He gave two crayons to his brother. How many crayons does Tim have now? We can use 10 frames. And we have 10 counters. We have 10 and two more is 11, 12. If he gave two crayons to his brother, we can take these two away. Let's put them here. Now we have one full tem frame. So we have 10, 10 crayons left. Then Tim gave three crayons to his sister. How many crayons does Tim have now? So we had 10 left. So here we're going to do it here. He gave three crayons to his sister. So let's take away three from the 10. We'll take away one, two, three. And let's put them with the other counters that we took away from up here. Okay, we'll put them together. How many crayons does he have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten minus three is equal to seven. Now he has seven crayons. So how many crayons did Tim give away? Well, he gave away two up here, then he gave away three from here. He gave away one, two, three, four, five. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 5 were given away. We add the amounts that were taken away to find the total sum of what was taken away. So we can think about 10 to find 14 minus 5. We put 14 counters into two 10 frames. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We want to take away 5, so we subtract 4, these 4. So let's take them off the 10 frame. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we subtract 1 more. We're going to take away 1 more. 14 minus 5 is 14 minus the 4 that we took away here and minus the 1 more we took away from right here. 14 minus the 4 gave us a 10. Then when we took 1 more away, we have 9. So 14 minus 5 is equal to 9. We took away 4 and 1 more and that made 5 in all. We took away 4, we took away 1 more, and 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. We took away 5 in all, and we have 9. See? 14 minus 5 is equal to 9. Let's subtract 13 minus 7. We have a full 10 frame, so that's 10, 11, 12, 13. We can subtract 7 by breaking it apart into a 3 and a 4. 3 plus 4 equals 7. The first step is we have 13 and we take 3 away. So we can take these 3 away. Now we have 10. 13 minus 3 is equal to 10. Now we take away four more. We took away the three, now we're going to take away the four. One, two, three, four. Ten minus four is equal to six. So 13 minus 7 is equal to 6. We found 13 minus 7 by doing 13 minus the 3. 
that gave us a full 10 frame. Then we took four more away so that we took seven in all, and there were six left. Three plus four is seven. We took away seven in all. 13 minus seven is equal to six. Let's try it again. What is 15 minus six? Here we have a, some 10 frames. Here's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The first step is we take away five. We have 15, take away five. That's gonna give us a 10. We need to take away six. We took away five, so we take away one more. 15 minus five minus one more. That gives us 15 minus five is 10 minus one. That leaves nine. So 15 minus six is equal to nine. We took away five from here. Then we took away one more. Five plus one is six, so we took away six in all, like we were supposed to, and we were left with nine. We break apart the six into a five plus one. The 15 is the menu end. The six is the subtrahen. The nine is the difference, and we can break apart the subtrahend. We broke it apart into a five plus one. There are 16 goats in a field. Seven goats go to the barn. How many goats are left in the field? Here we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 counters for 16 goats. It said seven goats go into the barn. So we can take away this six. Now we just have 10, but we only took away six. We need to take away seven. So we can take away one more, can't we? We do 16, take away six, and that's gonna give us our 10. If we take away one more, we'll have taken away seven. 16 minus 6 is 10, minus the one more, 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. We can break apart the 7 into a 6 and a 1. 6 plus 1 is 7, so we took away 7 in all, like we were supposed to. 16 minus 7 is equal to 9. What subtraction sentence does this model show? Here's step one, and here's step two. In step one, there were 10, 11, 12, 13 in all, and three were taken away. Then in step two, one more was taken away. So which of these subtraction sentences shows step one and step two? Well, it can't be 10 minus one because we're starting with 13. So it's not these because the minuend is a 10. So it's one of these. We have 13. We took away the three and we took away one more. Do you know which one it is? Is it this one or this one? Which one shows taking away three and taking away one more? If you said this one, you're right. We took away three. Then we took away one more, and three plus one is four. We did 13 minus four, and it's equal to nine. We can write a subtraction sentence to fit this model. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So in step one, we have 14. And how many were taken away in step one? They took away four. 
and 14 minus 4 is equal to 10. Step 2, we took away how many? We took away 2. 10 minus the 2 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. So we can write a subtraction sentence to fit the model. We started with 14. We took away a 4 and a 2. 4 and 2 is 6. This is 10 and 4 more is 14 minus 4 plus 2, that's 4, 5, 6. So we took away a total of 6, and it's equal to 8. Our next lesson is problem solving, and we're going to use subtraction strategies. That's lesson 4.6. So we can break apart a number to help us subtract. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.